Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, time for a little bit of an update video here, actually. Um, been severe weather, so I haven't been really film anything, but I've done a few mods I just want to show you. Uh, just show you where the 80 series is at at the moment. And uh, what I will potentially be doing in the future. So, don't mind the birds. We've got some uh, magpies and looks like galahs mating up in the tree there, so no worries. Uh, don't mind the traffic behind me. I'll try and deal with it. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. Alright, so first thing I have done to this was put some recovery points on the front. And uh, another little tip for the uh, for the winch hook for you guys as well. So I put some air on board recovery hooks on here. Um, they are rated as well. They're rated to 5 tonne. 15 tonne, sorry. Which will be up in here. Uh, obviously it does hang down a little bit, but that will get fixed um, when I do the wheels and tyres. That'll give a bit more clearance there. So I do have some spiders in here to get rid of too. Another, another car coming past. Always is getting frustrating. Busy road. Wouldn't think it'd be this busy out here on a Tuesday. So... Alright, so yeah, so that's the recovery points. Now with your winch hook, I've decided I'm not going to hang it off the bar anymore because it looks stupid. So yeah, just a uh, zip tie around the roller or I don't know what you uh, guys with the standard bear leads can do. But um, yeah, that there just keeps it, keeps it in place, stops it rattling around. So that's that there. Obviously, I do have the UHF on now. So that one is all done. And I'll show you that install inside. Now the other thing I've done here is I've put a cargo barrier in. So I've shown that on Instagram. You know, so it's just a 100 series cargo barrier with some custom brackets. So yeah, the fridge is in the car now. So I still do some proper wiring on that one. But at the moment I've just got a, what the original owner had. It was just a wire, some wiring running from the front hooked up to that. And also on the factory fridge slide. And we'll hop inside the car. So inside the car, I have done the UHF install. So that's hidden up and up above the glove box, and it allows me to pull the mic out when I'm not in use and completely remove it. So. That's all magnetic mount, so that locks on there. Now this was out of the 90 series, did manage to recover it. Um, that pass through is from Gear Electric AU, so worth checking those guys out. And um, and yeah, that's the UHF install, so that all works. Probably not going to hear anyone out here, not on the Truckee channel, but yeah, so it ever works, so not a problem. Turn it off, might help. There we are. And that's about it, really, at the moment. I do need to sort out the dual battery system. Um, my second battery has um, failed pretty much, it's 11 volts. Um, it's sulfated, it's bulging, so I need to get that change but also need to do the DC charger before I do any wiring in the back here and start running lights so at the moment the fridge while well, the fridge is in there it's non-operational at the moment um, so yeah, I'll need to get that sorted other than that there's not a whole lot I do have a set of wheels sorted out um, so the wheels so obviously I will get rid of the factory on the other side here, it's a bit lighter. So yeah, we'll get rid of the, uh, the factory GXL wheels, and I'm probably going to go up to 33s. Um, I do have a wheel picked out already, so that will be coming soon, hopefully. Um, what else? And yeah, obviously I want to do a shovel holder, and I do, do want to get this restored at some point. It is a little bit rusty on top. Um, for that rack and I do need to add in some lights 
in the back here, up on the tailgate. So as much as I don't want to cut into anything, because I don't like doing it, um, I might need to do that, or add something off the high mount stoplight. Oh, that's a bit rattly, so I probably need to sit there and give that one a good old tighten as well. So I'm talking about clips, there you go, can't tighten that one. So, so there's something I need to do there. Uh, I need to do window tint uh, and and there was something else I needed to do. There was the window tint and 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 and, and oh yes, so not only does the window tint need to be done. I need to do the rubber. So I don't know if you can see up in here. There's gaps in here and the silicon's falling out and this rubber's shrunk. Now I had to get a genuine rubber, which I do have. Um, the place I'm going to get to do my tint said if I supply the rubber, they'll fit it. So because I want to keep it all original and keep all the uh, mouldings in here. You know, GXL, all the chrome mouldings, want to keep all that. I'll probably replace the wiper arm at some point with some new ones because these are pretty old and getting a bit tired yeah. other than that I'll probably get an electric antenna at some point as well if I get changed I have to add the switch in inside and, and that's about it really so not a whole lot not a whole lot I really else need to do at the moment obviously the uh, the fade is starting to come out now on the bonnet too so I don't know don't think that can be cut out that and on the roof so that's something else down the track and get the bonnet the cowling and the roof resprayed and there was one other little thing that was annoying me around here there's a couple of cracks in the paint here I don't know if it'll show up on camera but they're just here and that's going to introduce water which I don't want to do um, flares will need to be done at some point and I need to need to actually uh, pull the center diff lock actuator out and give it a service because I don't think it's working correctly um, and the snorkel up in the snorkel this bracket here is only held in with self tappers and the little plastic retaining nuts in the pillar which I don't like so that's a whole day job though to get that snorkel off because you can't pull the inner liner out as far as I know so um, yeah, that's where I'm at at the moment. So I will put some uh, weather shields on like I had on the 90, probably some of the slimline ones. Once the wheels are sorted, that's like a last thing. It's not going to affect anything for me at the moment. And uh, and yeah, we'll go from there. So, so that's it. Anyway, guys, take it easy. Um, yeah, when I do the wiring for the DC charger, I will do a video on it, um, give you guys an idea. And, and we'll go from there. So Also... Uh, I've had a new exhaust system done, so I've got extractors on here and the support system, which isn't very loud, which is good, which is what I wanted. So, so that's all been done as well, which is good. Um, I don't know, you can really see in here, it's not real clear, it's kind of dark, but gives you an idea they're advanced headers, so um, yeah, to make a difference. So, so that's pretty good as well, but yeah, because. Uh, because of the, this battery issue um, I had it disconnected at the moment but I will get it sorted eventually so alright guys catch you next time <laughs>